guys welcome back to the channel Theo here on today's video I'm going to discuss all the mod that I've installed on this beautiful car behind me yes this is my 2017 BMW M3 and if you know because you're a follower to the channel you know I purchased this car two years ago today I'm going to describe and show you everything that I've completed on the car so far let's go <laughs> video please if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure that you do hit that subscribe button hit that notification a bell and also like this video at the end if you like this content now that will help me a lot to grow and also browse the channel to see about all the mods that I've completed on this car and any previous car that I've had on the channel in the past yes I've had so many cars on the channel e36 m3 I have e46 m3 f80 m3 uh, BMW 435, Mini Cooper, just to name a few. Now, today we're talking about this specific car right here. This is my baby. This is my 2017 BMW M3. And if you know, I purchased this car in January of 2020, but I introduced it to the channel maybe two months after because I wanted to enjoy the car first. And today, as you know, based on the title, we are going to go and I'm going to show you about everything that I have done to the car so far. It's not a lot, but it's an extensive list. So let's get started. We are going to start on the back of the car and this is not in specific order. I'm just going to go based on what I see on the car. Now, the first thing that I'm going to introduce is, of course, this GTS taillight. That did change the way the car looks so much. I mean, look at it right here. I mean, you know how the F80 M3 tier like you look, and this is all LED, kind of mimic of an OLED GTS style right here, and all these lights are functional, everything function, and I have video of installation that I'm going to link up there for every single part I'm going to display today. Another mod that is on the car is the M Performance Spoiler. Yes, this piece right here. Now, this is really something that if you have to install that, you have to pair that with a front lip so that, you know, the car is balanced properly. This is the way it came when I actually purchased it. So I don't have a video of the installation of this specific part because it came with the car like that. But it is well made and I think it just enhanced the back of the car so much. Another mod that is on the car, as you can see right here, of course is my exhaust from factory this car does not sound good this is the remus axelback sport exhaust and i have it paired with the active auto work single mid pipe i know that active auto work now makes the equal length mid pipe i wish i could purchase that to see how it sound on this one but i'm pretty okay with the way my, my car sound and here i have the carbon fiber 102 millimeter tips and man that looks so delicious now on the back here I also have the M performance diffuser that you see right here I'm not sure if you're able to see that and yes here's something that is just happening because I have my finger here that's the foot kick feature on the car I have another video where I'm going to show you hidden features about the FADM trick probably coming up next week so stay tuned and watch that video you will understand why this is working for me now as I mentioned diffuser I mean, it's not the most aggressive diffuser you can have on the F80 M3, but I like this one because it look OEM plus, and it really gave an aggressive look on the car. I mean, look at it from the back here. It's not a menace, definitely. One that I prefer is the one that have the F1 light right here. I think it's called the PSM style diffuser. I was thinking about purchasing it, but then I look at the back of the car every single day and I love the way it looks this way. Now, another mod that I've completed on the car, of course, 
Splitters. This splitter was made by a guy that I found on Instagram. His name is KGS Splitters. So that when you purchase this kit, it comes with a back extension right here. And it also comes with a splitter. I mean, as you can see, this always, always enhance the car and give us this aggressive look. Now, the car is extremely dirty. So again, I apologize for that. But I just wanted to shoot this video really quick for you so that you can see all of the things that have been done to the car. I'm not going to talk about the wheels right now. I'm going to talk about it later, but I do have a lot to say about the wheels. Now, not a mod on the car, of course. Carbon fiber mirror cap, yes, right here. Definitely, it doesn't really give any performance, but it just enhances the look of the car to have this carbon fiber piece right here, matching with the carbon fiber roof that you see here. This is an option that was on the car. Yep, I like it. I also have the tent that I've done on the car, 30%. I know it's illegal, but I'm sorry, I'm snitching on myself right now. But it definitely make the car stand out and look really mean and darker. And it, of course, it helped me whenever it's a sunny day like today, a lot, a lot, a lot on this car. Now let's turn the car around so I can show you what I have done on the front. If you own an F80 M3, one mod that you have to have is definitely to have mud flap. Now, I purchased the Tomiya Garage mud flap. They are installed right here. Let me do a quick close up so you can see right there. And that protects the side of the car against debris, dirt and whatnot whenever I'm driving. Now, if you don't have that, all the side of the car where you have that M performance thing on the back right there will get dirty, especially that hips right here. Now, this hip, we get all the debris because that is just poking too much compared to the front. Now, on the side here, I also installed this smoke side marker. I mean, I could have had the paint match one, but I wanted really to have the side marker because I feel like side marker is important to the people that are driving around to know that your car is parked there. That's why I wanted as a safety to just have smoke so that it kind of blends with the car pretty well. Now, on the front of the car, I have this magnificent lightweight front lip now this lightweight front lip i decided to go with this one instead of any other front lip because it is durable i mean i purchased this car two years ago and i purchased i think this is probably the one of the first mod that i done on the car and then man many times i scrubbed the bottom and it hasn't break yet so this is durable and if you are someone who daily your f80 I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you to get that specific front lip. I mean, it is not cheap, but it is durable. The material that I use is great. And you see, it still look very, very good. I mean, it enhances the look. It kind of look OEM plus. It is not too aggressive. It is just perfect for the way my car is. I mean, as you can see, I have little cracks. You can see here on the bottom. That's because I scrape all the time on the bottom here because the car is just low now talking about low i have installed on the car emd spring yes emd spring now a lot of people have all type of coilovers and whatnot i just wanted my car to be low it's not the best in terms of performance but i just wanted to, my car to be low so that i can drive around because i mean this is not really my track weapon although i want to take it to the track this summer but if I do take it to the track, I'm just going to ride it like this with some pad and change the fluid. And I've seen it, people do it, and then it is great. Now, talking about wheels and tires. Oh, Lord, I have a bunch of them. Now, this set that you see right here, these are the Apex SM10. Yes, they look gorgeous. And I have that pair with Nankang AR1, if you know what that is. That is semi-slick race track tires. I mean, as you can see, look at it. It is massive on the front. I have 10 inch wide tires on the back, 11 inch wide tire. Yes, I still have to install that um, spacer because I just don't like the way the back feel. Now I have another set, which is actually uh, bigger wheels. I have 20 inch BBS CIR. I'm going to put a picture right now for you so you can see how it looks on the car. And this is really my summer, you know, car meet wheel setup. I usually use that around summertime just go to car mill, drive around and it's good so this is the track that one is this bbs cir is the street summer and then i do use the bmw 437m as a winter set i'm going to put a picture so you can see that on the screen and those three wheel set are a good combination for this car 
I know that I've never taken this car to the track, but I plan to do it this summer and this is the wheel that will go with it. Now, once these tires are done, I'm probably going to put some Michelin summer tires on this and probably rock this set also, you know, all summer long. Yep, that's it for the outside of the car. I hope I don't forget anything here. Now, under the hood, the only thing I've done is install k and then air filter, cold air filters. That's it. And I also did the boot mode. I mean, this car is capable enough from factory, 444 horsepower. So I didn't really see the need to add more power because there is no way I can really use all of this power on the street. I mean, if you tune your car, that's because probably you track your car a lot. And that's the only reason that I will see someone wanting to have an extra more power out of this engine. This engine is great. And yes, it has its little flaws, crank hub, but yes, you can still use it. If you are on the warranty, I recommend don't tune it, just enjoy your car the way it is because it's still a lot of power for you to push around. I mean, I almost never drive my car to the red line, almost never, because on the street, you have a speed limit, you cannot even push the car that much. Now, let's go on the inside of the car so you can see mods that I have completed on the inside. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot one essential mod right here. Wheel stud. Yes, wheel stud are a must. If you change tires and wheels as much as I do, you definitely need this to easily install. And also, if you track your car, this is essential for you because it helps the car, um, it helps the, the, the wheels being gripped by the wheel hub much, much, much better. I also have spacers. I've been doing counter as mod because, I mean, it's just more aesthetic, but I do also have spacers here. Every single wheel set has this set of spacers that I use. So, yes, I have a lot of spacers at home. Now, let's go on the inside and see what I have done. On the inside of the car, as I mentioned, I haven't done much. Just aesthetic, cosmetic look. I changed the start-stop button here, installed the red one. I didn't do anything on the paddle. These are factory. Now, I also installed this carbon fiber trim around the radio. It, I think it really blends and matches this carbon fiber piece that is from factory here. Now, on the bottom here, I installed this carbon fiber. This was already installed, carbon fiber knob, and it matches with the carbon fiber that I have here. I also have this M Performance, you know, handbrake with the Alcantara boot. And that's about everything on the inside. Of course, you also have these pedals that are metal and performance that's that's it oh i forgot change this logo it used to be a silver logo right here now it was replaced by bmw and now i have the m3 for the 2018 model this eliminates and it looks very very well with this sucker interior oh man it is so nice whenever you know you have that turned on one other thing that i have here it's not really a mod it's more like a little safety thing that i use for like claims i have my dash cam right here and i'm only using it to record the front although i've never used it for anything because i've never had any accident with this car okay guys as you saw these are everything that i have done so far on the car in my two year ownership yes it's not a lot but i wanted to keep the car oem plus like i mentioned i don't want to go too aggressive with the car because i just like the way it looks the lines factory i have a video explaining why i love this car so much and i didn't want to destroy by changing too much having you know biopsic slides and stuff like that yes i wanted to just make sure that the car is still kind of have that oem look but yes enhanced in terms of sexiness aggressiveness and also performance and this is really the result of what i think looks sexy for me now it may not be for everyone but to me it satisfies my name it satisfies my looks and I just love it. I dig the wheels that I have, I dig the lips, everything that I've installed. And I also have instructional and DIY videos on the installation of these parts on my channel. I know I linked them up there, I just wanted to mention again in case you maybe don't remember or something. And yeah, man, let me know what you think about this car, if this is a potential car that you can purchase, like, I mean, the F80, M3 in general. These are great cars for daily, family. You can put your kids, your family, take on a long trip. Also, enjoy the car at the track. Same car, you just have to change a few things on the car. And this car is capable of doing all of that and still look beautiful when you put it in the parking lot. Thank you again for watching. And my name is Theo. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell and like so that you can get notified whenever I have new videos. Stay blessed and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.